Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A suspension cable is supported at two points 25 meter apart. Let us keep the first point as A and the second point as B and the lowest point as C. The span is given as 25 meter. The left support is 2.5 meter above the right support. The left support A is 2.5 meter above the right support. The cable is loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 10 kN per meter throughout the span. The maximum dip in the cable from the left support is 4 meter. We know that the maximum dip in the point A is the vertical distance from the lowest point. It is given as 4 meter. We know that it is H1. 4 minus 2.5. We will get H2 which is 1.5 meter. Find the tension in the supports and maximum and minimum tension in the cable. Also find the length of the cable. If the cable is supported on frictionless rollers, find the vertical and horizontal forces in the point A. The anchor cables are inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. Using this expression, we can find L1 and L2. We know that H1 is 4 and H2 is 1.5. Also, we know that L2 is 25 minus L1. When we calculate this, we will get 1.633. Then we can take this term on the right side. We can multiply these two terms. We will get this. We can take this term on the right side. So it will come as positive 1.633 L1 plus L1. We will get 2.633 L1. We can take this on the right side. So it will come in the denominator. Finally, for L1, we will get 15.5 meter. We know that L2 is 25 minus L1. In this way, for L2, we are getting 9.5 meter. Now, let us find the vertical reactions VA and VB. We know the formulas to find both of them. VA is WL1 and VB is WL2. Here, W is 10. L1 is 15.5 and L2 is 9.5. After the calculation, we will get VA and VB. Now, from the point A, let us take a moment about C and find the horizontal thrust H. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 15.5. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. With the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and distance by 2. The horizontal thrust is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it is also negative. For the horizontal thrust, this is the perpendicular distance 4 meter. Finally, for the horizontal thrust, we will get 300.31 kN. Now let us find the tension in the supports. In the support A, the formula is root of Va square plus H square. And in the support B, the formula is root of Vb square plus H square. Let us apply the value of Va and then Vb and then the horizontal thrust. After the calculation, we will get Ta and Tb. Now let us find the maximum tension. The maximum tension occurs at A because it is the highest level. In the point A, we have already found the tension which is 337.95 kN. Now let us find the minimum tension. It occurs in the point C because it is the lowest level. The minimum tension is the horizontal thrust itself which is 300.31 kN. Now let us find the length of the cable S. Yes. We can use this formula and find the length. 
Here L is 25, H1 is 4 and L1 is 15.5, H2 is 1.5 and L2 is 9.5. Finally, for the length, we will get 25.85 meter. Now, let us do the last part in the question. If the cable is supported on frictionless rollers, find the vertical and horizontal forces in the point A. The anchor cables are inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. In the question, it is given that the anchor cable is inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. The total angle is 90 degree. 90 minus 30, we will get alpha, which is 60. Since it is a roller support, there will be no horizontal force in the tower. In this case, we can use this expression. We can take these two terms. Alpha is 60. H is the horizontal thrust. Let us apply that. Finally, for T1, we will get this. Now, let us find the vertical force in the tower. This is the formula. In the previous step, we have found T1. Alpha is 60. V is the vertical reaction in the point A which is 155. Finally, for Vt, we have got 328.38 kN. Alternatively, we can use the formulas and find the horizontal thrust and the vertical reactions Va and Vb. To find the horizontal thrust, we have to use this formula. Here, W is 10, L is 25, H1 is 4, and H2 is 1.5. Using the formula, we will get H. To find the vertical reactions in the supports, we have to use this formula. Support A is in the higher level. So in the formula, we have to select the positive sign. D is the difference in the level, that is 2.5. B is in the lower level. So in the formula, we have to select the negative sign. In this way, we can find VA and VB. We are getting slightly different answers because when we use the formulas, the answers are more accurate. Using this formula, we can find the length of the cable. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.